Welcome to a new Voldo. December is coming up and you might be thinking what gifts you could offer to your loved ones. So I thought I'd share my ideas as a hobbyist and maker to stuff that I would like to receive as gifts for Christmas. The criteria for choosing these uh, items were mainly to be uh, decent quality products at affordable prices and really be things that a maker would use in his projects later on. As usual, you will find links in the description of the video to places where you can order all of these products shown in the video. So I'm gonna start the list with the Rui Deng USB meter. As the name implies, this will allow you to measure a USB connection. It can measure voltage, current and the state of the data lines and it will also do power calculations based on those values which is really useful if you're building anything that's USB powered or if you'd like to monitor any, any device that is USB powered. The model I recommend is the UM25 or UM25C. The C variant has the Bluetooth connectivity option which allows you to use an app on your smartphone to view and log the measured data. Number two on my list is the Xiaomi Weha screwdriver set. I've got it for some time and I'm pretty happy with the quality and with the types of bits that this set contains. It's tailored towards uh, modern gadgets so you'll get all the required bits to work on any modern smartphone or laptop for example. It has a magnetic tray for holding all the bits so that's nice attention to detail and good quality overall which makes it a nice gift that any maker will appreciate. Number three is the TS100 soldering iron. This is a portable soldering iron that has excellent performance as it's shown in the various reviews that exist on YouTube and as it was tested by me in Voltlog 186. If the person you're buying this for does soldering or plans to start soldering, the TS100 will be the perfect gift. In terms of accessories, you might want to add a power supply because by default the soldering iron does not contain one and if you really want to help, also add an extra soldering tip with a different shape. I recommend the knife shaped tip as that one can really transfer heat. Number four on my list is one of these newer fancy silicone mats. They come in various shapes and sizes but one thing they have in common they are made out of silicon so they will not melt if touched with the soldering iron. They have different pockets for holding bits and pieces which is really helpful when doing repairs on modern gadgets which typically feature a bunch of different screws. Number six on my list is a set of walkie talkies because everyone enjoys these no matter the age. I recommend the Baofeng BFT3 because they are very affordable and they can be a toy for kids but just as well they can be useful for adults in the outdoors for maintaining a link between two points. Just make sure you include a set of batteries with this gift idea because each walkie talkie needs four AAA batteries to work and it would be a bummer if they took the item out of the box and they couldn't use it because it lacks batteries. Number seven on my list is a multimeter and here I can recommend two options. You can either get an Anang AN8008 which is a cheap but generally good multimeter especially for beginners or you can get a good pocket multimeter like the Bryman BM22S which is a great choice for a more advanced user just to expand his toolkit with a pocket meter. The uh, Anang AN8008 has better resolution and more functions overall but the input protection and build quality is not that great. So the Bryman BM22S has better build quality but since it's a pocket meter it will have fewer functions and I don't recommend it as a first multimeter. Number 8 on my list is a set of good multimeter test leads. I have worked with uh, many test leads from well-known manufacturers like Fluke and Agilent but none seem to be as nice as Probe Master test leads. I consider these to be the best test leads I have ever used and I will always choose these over anything else from my toolbox. They are not very expensive either. If you live in the US, you can order these directly from Probe Master 
or if you are in Europe or other places you can order them from V Electron. I recommend this type of gift for those who are into electronics and already have a background on using multimeters because they are likely to appreciate their build quality better. Number 9. If your maker does not have a label printer then I recommend you get one for them. Get one that he can use standalone without the need of a computer, one that has a full keyboard. We makers usually have a bunch of stuff and it's nice to be able to label stuff for easy reference later on. It doesn't have to be an expensive model, for example I got the uh, cheapest one I could find, it works great and the tape it uses I can get really cheap from AliExpress, so I think any maker will appreciate this type of gift. And the last item on my list is the good old Raspberry Pi which seems to always be a good gift idea no matter how old it is. It doesn't matter if the maker is just starting out or if he already has some experience, receiving a Raspberry Pi as a gift will no doubt be appreciated because it might bring some ideas about new projects to work on that might need a small computer. So these are my recommendations for you. I would for example be very happy to receive any of the items listed above and that's how I made this list, thinking about what I would be happy to receive and what would be really useful at the same time for a maker. Let me know in the comments below if this list helped you in any way to choose the right gift for someone or even for yourself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.